Hello, folks. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media, all of our channels and networks. I'm Mike Morales here in uh, the, 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 the heartbeat of the San Gabriel Valley heartbeat. in California. That gentleman out there is Dave Dinius, and I'm in uh, North County, San Diego. Beautiful. Yay! This back among the living. Back among the, the right side of the country. The right side of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> Jeez. In other words, folks, Dave was living in a control state uh, <laughs> in Virginia. Yeah, you can't even say that without it's just, us. yeah, you know. It's us. So, so Dave, um, we, you know, we we get a lot of solicitations here at Tequila Aficionado, and this one yep. is uh, kind of a mouthful. It's called Risenor. <laughs> Risenor. It's Risenor. tough for even me to say. Uh, tequila. It comes in a blanco only. Um, and I do believe we had uh, a, I, translate I, to a mockingbird. I think. It, yeah, I guess that's what. Uh, I think that's what it was. It's a mockingbird. Okay, because it kind of looks like a roadrunner. Yeah, and and it, this is a stock bottle. I'm sure you you folks have seen this bottle elsewhere. Uh, and and um, the gentleman's name is uh, Pablo Velasquez. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Pablo was nice enough to drop these off at our home a few, like October of last year. And uh, we are finally getting to it. Um, oh, you got bottle 420, right? Is that 420? 428. I got 425. See, check it out. Close. Yeah, very close. So I'm, I'm excited because it, we found them on, uh, on Instagram. Yep. Um, He's been strangely quiet since October. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, you know, a lot of these uh, startup brands, they work other jobs. And, you know, he was nice enough to actually uh, swing by and drop this off to me. And, and then to Dave and, also. And then to me, yeah. Yeah. So I got and to Dave, Dave, Dave you, took a, you took a photo of, of yourselves together, right? Yeah, I got a picture of him. I posted that on online uh, back then. I, I can so, repost it tonight. Okay. Um, we got no information from, uh, and, and we only spoke briefly as he dropped these off to me on, on, on my porch. So yeah. we're just going to taste the juice, folks, and then we'll tell you all the ins and outs that we know, like where it's made. Um, and I think you folks will be impressed when, when we tell you what distillery this is coming from. Nice little um, work. So uh, it's got a nice... It had a nice, uh, nice uh, agave aroma right at the, when we popped the cork. Yep. We just broke the seal off of these a little while ago. And like I say, they've been sitting on on my my floor, living room floor, for, since October. And it's uh, sitting on a bar table over there. I, I didn't move with you, so that's good. Uh, I, I'm going to use my look my, at uh, them tears and legs. Them legs. Oh are... my God! Wow! Wow! There. it's it, it's beautiful i mean it's 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 look how shiny it is in your glass it is really nice clear shiny looks like david, it's gonna have a nice little mouthfeel to it yeah david's using a glen karen i'm using my my stazzo harito that harito that i use for uh for tequila the official uh, tasting glass uh, the official tasting uh, glass of tequila aficionado media aha <laughs> uh -huh. and um Damn, get them is, now that <laughs> is nice they're available <laughs> they are available um i hope to be able to work something with uh with with thomas uh, ristoff uh, shortly this is really gorgeous wow legs and tears forever folks it. <laughs> yeah wow that's it's beautiful so you know when i popped the cork i got that instant agave whiff mm -hmm. which was great oh my goodness yeah. Just a nice earthy mineral. I get that mineral. Yeah, yeah. I Keep love talking. That. You're, you're, I love you're that. I'm off water. <laughs> Getting oh, agave. It's just gorgeous. It it smells like baked agave too. It smells like it's baked, not not. Um, I, I, I'm going to go on a limb and say it's baked and not cooked in an autoclave. All right. I mean, I could be right. Yeah. right. You could be right. <laughs> Again, we got no information from from Pablo, so we're flying blind here. But but that's usually the case with us, anyway. So yeah. Oh, it's just lovely notes. It is. Agave. There's there's Very some nice. citrus. Are you getting any citrus in there? 
I'm getting so much of the mineral and the agave. It's, oh, they're probably using that good, nice volcanic water. Probably so. Mm -hmm. I would, I, it's, it's a very pleasant nose. I, I would, I, I'm not exactly sure where this distillery is located in what part of, of the highlands and what corner, if, if it's a highlands or lowlands, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Um, but there's a certain region that it smells like. It smells to me like, like tequilas out of Arandas, which, oh, which is yes. not a Totonilco and it's not, you know, it's not a Matitan because that's, that's uh, actually or central. El Arino. El Arenal. There El you go. Arenal. That's it. Near I knew, um, I, I knew that there was, it was somewhere between those two, right? Oh, I got to mm -hmm. dive in, Dave. We got to dive in. This, this smells, smells good. too good. It oh, does. My mm, nice, beautiful pepper. Yeah, the agave pepper. Love it. Mm. I'm not getting quite as much of the mineral as I got on the nose. It's very it's minerally nice, on the it's nose. It's a nice agave. You know, I can, yes, there's, ooh. What a great finish. Wow, that's, that's a medium to long finish. I'm not getting the really warm, fuzzy, warm and fuzzy, not quite like. You, have you been playing, have you been pre-gaming without me? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. That was my first sip of the night. Like, oh. uh, really, the depth I'm getting smells like something that's been oven baked. And that's There's... why I'm going to say that. It smells, the minerality that I'm getting is more like, the the oven the, the brick oven you know that what we call mamposteria in Spanish, okay. okay. And and the last time I had something similar to this, mm. with that this kind of character, was at El Viejito when I visited in November. It had it, they only use brick ovens they only had them that's all they had, and uh, it's very similar um, uh, aroma and aftertaste. Mm. Uh, this was a bit. This was a bit more highlighted, though. This was. This was really. We just broke the seal, so, you know, it. That finish is long. It, see what I tell you. Tongue. It's on the tongue, and it's. Mm, I haven't even taken a second sip yet. Like, mm. 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 There's the mineral in the retro. Mm. It does have that nice thick mouthfeel. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's not the, like a glycerin type. Oh God, no, 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 no. This is, there's, there's depth. that's all natural here. Mm. Um, and the reason we can say that with, with pretty, pretty much clarity is that when you look at the, it tells you where the distillery is, um, uh, was it 1540? What is it? 1549. 1549. Okay, so if you're familiar Artenome. with Artenome, uh, Reaction, yep. 1549. Barcino. We have uh, Don Sergio. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tequilas that come out of Destiladora Refugio. Okay, uh, their office is in El, Ar El Arenal. And so I'm going to say that the distillery is close by, if not right there. Um, this is a little distillery. And wow, man, none of these tequilas, except for uh, Risenor, ha is in the States. And and I got I got to say, Dave, just barely in the States, right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Mm. This is a solid tequila. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of boldness, a lot of character in it um cocktail for sure right yeah well i wouldn't that's well, not that's me that too good. but what I, but you know it, what i'm saying is it would it would survive the cocktail for sure oh it would survive it yeah uh wow man uh and well you know i gave you a sign oh there it is what happened did it where, where's your <laughs> dave already nominated as brand of promise nominee in the Blanco category, I totally agree. I am in love with this. That this is, good is so stuff. old school that I, 
we got to find out where they can get it because we don't even have pricing on it, do we? I don't know if he's even in the States yet. I really don't. I mean, he's got to have some kind of bottles in. Uh, if we got 428 and 425, there's got to be yeah. some. I saw nothing online. He he must be doing his own distribution or something. This this guy this guy needs help. And I tell you what, this stuff, every every tequila aficionado, every nut who's into who's in, especially when you know that Artanone comes out of there, that's the one right there, the mockingbird, right? The mockingbird. It says something else there, I think. Maybe I gotta get my magnifying glass. Mm. <laughs> At least I think it does. Mm. Oh. oh man. Mm. This almost has enough character in it for me to say it. It's like it it, it almost comes across like a like a tequila from Matitan, but not quite. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't have that it doesn't have that heavy mineral punch that a Matitan does. But Arenado's got all that character. Look at look at look at the legs and tears on this. Look at all them tears. <laughs> oh my goodness, Dave! This was a great idea. You know, we were not going to do. Um, I had completely spaced out that we had that tequila, and he goes, "Well, we're going to do that one too." And I go, "Oh, wait a minute! That's just a blanco, right? Let's do it." Yeah, let's do it. Oh my! And and the the mouth feel, the aroma in your mouth. Mm, it just smells. Oh. Good. Uh, we do know that the distillery is using stone brick ovens. Yeah. Okay. So we know that. Roller, mill, roller mills, stainless steel tanks, copper oh, pots, stainless steel pots. They're not even using copper. They're using stainless. Oh, probably with a copper wire. Uh, copper pot, stainless steel pot. They got both. It looks like this. T this tastes like they're using a copper pot. Mm -hmm. I, I. This is such an old school feel to it, right, Dave? Yes. And you know, this is almost. I I tell you what, if you're a G four lover, if you like Terralta, you like those tequilas there. That you know, with a the lot of character. The, the this is yeah yeah. This is up. Oh yeah. Oh my! The, I wanted to hide yeah. this from me now. <laughs> wow! I total surprise, folks. Total surprise. Again, check it out. If you find it, if you're watching us on YouTube, please let us know what you're doing with it, where you're buying it. How much it's costing you? What does the back say? Anything? It's a, the 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 label. Government warning imported by. Who's imported by? Who's importing it? Uh, Racing Motor, oh. Los Angeles, California. <laughs> oh, that's got to be them. Okay. Uh, let's see, Lazaro Cardenas. Okay, well, that's the that's the address. Yeah. Produced and bottled. Okay. Wow, I gotta tell you, folks. Yeah, Resenor in Los Angeles. Uh, find it if you guys are in LA, if you're in anywhere in Southern California, you get this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Brand of Promise nominee, without a doubt. It's amazing. This Blanco, this Blanco needs your help. I was surprised. Me too. I really was. I, I, really I didn't know. Surprised. I didn't know what to expect. You know, mm. we just popped this open before we came on online. And we were doing some research because I was looking to see if he had sent us any uh, point of sale material or Pablo had, had given us a, a, like an email with, with family background, nothing. El everything that we got is, is on Instagram. So look him up. Um, I guess we should spell that for everybody, but let me, let me pop open the, uh, I'm, I'm on, I've got their Instagram up on my phone. He's got, Just a, so you, little bit, he's got a little bit online. And, and it's Pablo. It's I thought now they're it, calling yeah. it. They, he's got a hashtag on it that says organic tequila. This is not a certified organic, but I get the idea. If you look at that picture uh, of the that I'm showing on on the screen, that they've got a lot of vegetation between the, uh, the between the. Yeah, agaves. it says his his family has grown the agaves for decades, and I remember him saying that. His family wow. has been growing. Oh, you know what? There's, to get here's the story. It's on his Instagram. Wait, let me read this. He, apparently, it was on the LA Times. We can't keep up with the global demands as Agustin Velasquez Servin, an agave producer, who also has a small label called Risenor. Anyone who has tequila right now is selling it at the price of gold. Wow. Okay. 
Resenor, and apparently they were written up in the LA Times, folks. This is a real, this is a valid tequila. And Pablo is doing it himself. It's a, as a one-man operation. He taught himself everything about the business, the licensing, the craft. Took years, but today I can carry a product that I'm proud of that I've seen through every step of the process. Holy cats! That's just amazing. I, I'm 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 impressed as hell. Yeah, we need to get him on open bar, dude. Yeah, you and me are gonna we're gonna interrogate this guy. <laughs> we're gonna put him through. We're gonna we're gonna shine that light on on him and his family because this is a valid tequila and it's, it's seems, legit. It's legit. It's legit. And if they're if he's been growing agave for that long, then that means he's a he's a valid agave grower because this stuff is outstanding, outstanding. Um, you know. Anyway, we've gone way over where we normally do, but I, I can't, you know, we're discovering this as, as much as you guys are. I guess I need to go to the LA Times website and see the read the article too, because I'm impressed as hell. So there you go. Brand of Promise nominee in that Blanco category. Recent you if you've had it, please let us know. Write down on the comments there. Give us a, a, a comment that you've had it before, what you're paying for, where you're getting it. Where do yeah, you buy this stuff? Because I, you know... I'm willing to bet that the pricing on this is so good that you want to just back up the truck, right? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, just, just download, download all the, mm. all the bottles to, to send them to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's our take on Rui Senor. I'm Mike Morales here in the San Gabriel Valley of Southern California. That guy out there is. Dave Dinius and I'm in Vista, California. You have been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Fish and Auto Media, all of our channels and networks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Give us a like. Leave us a comment. Share it. I mean, if you've had this before, share this video because it'll that way the uh, YouTube algorithm gets it out there to all the other tequila aficionados out there. And whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to visit our website at tequilaaficionado.com to get your free subscription to our magazine, download past issues, check out our branded merchandise, or get yourself equipped with the best tequila glassware for your sipping style. As always, sip wisely.